Give me an F. Give me an I. Give me an NALS. Rejoice, everyone. This week marks the last week of class for the fall semester and the first week of finals. I like finals. Reading day is Tuesday, December 8th, and the tutoring center is open to help you cram for your exams. A complete final schedule can be found at mcckc.edu. Just click on Final Exam Schedule under Academic Calendar. That's a lot easier than last year. Going green for spring? That's right, Ben. Financial aid will no longer send out paper bills, yeah. Invoices will be posted to students' online payment center. Emails will be sent so students can view their bills on my MCC KC. This has been Action Financial Jackson, going green, yeah. To help prepare you, the student, to serve your community, MCC Blue River is open until December 23rd, creating opportunities for you to get enrolled in spring classes. Spring fees are due on December 14th, so if you enroll after the 14th, your dues will be due upon enrollment. Do do. I don't care. They're my papers. I'm going to use them. You can put that in your bin, Medi. I'm watching you. It's time again for... Where's it at? That's, That's your, your faculty. faculty. Here's an opportunity for you to get to know the faculty at Blue River and what classes they offer. This week, psychology professor Kim Glacken. I am a uh, psychology teacher here at Blue River Community College and I have been here since 2001. Oh, I teach yeah. general psych. I also teach human lifespan development. I have taught correctional psych in the past. Um, it's not offered at the moment, but we're hoping to get it back on the books. And I have online offerings of child development and human lifespan development. Here in the library, we have started uh, a, a children's library for parents and children of a variety of issues. We have books for children for everyday issues. Mookie the monkey gets over being teased. Um, this one is The Kissing Hand, which uh, is a great book for parents to read to children before they get ready to go to school. Preschool, kindergarten, makes no difference. It Hurts When a Poop. Always a pl uh, crowd pleaser. This is just for children who are uh, starting potty training. It says a, a story for children who are scared to use the potty. Big Ernie's New Home. This is a book f um, for children who are moving, which is a pretty common childhood issue. Uh, for when you get a new sibling, Big Sister Now. This is a, a book about bedwetting, which uh, many children do suffer with. And then uh, what about dealing with bullies? So common everyday issues. We have a nice divorce collection. Um, ranging again for little kids as young as two, which is was it the chocolate pudding, and then all the way up into your tweener population. And it says the, the age range is on the back. This one's an 8 to 13, and this is my parents are divorced too. So we now have a nice divorce collection. We're getting a nice death and dying collection. We have a, that's, that's in the development. Hopefully right after the start of the year we'll have a nice death and dying collection. Um, then we have some books for your not so common problems. Um, the t a terrible thing happened. Uh, this is for um, children who might have, in their mind at the very least, witnessed something that was pretty traumatic or violent even, and uh, are unwilling or unable to talk about it. And this is a wonderful book for them, again, written for children as young as four. Murphy's Three Homes, this is a book for children who were in foster care. The Boy Who Didn't Want to Be Sad. Harry goes to the hospital, which might be a little bit more common than some of these others, but just the same, not every child goes to the hospital. And then um, Samantha Jane's Missing Smile. This is about the loss of a parent. Probably the crowning jewel of our collection, and we haven't gotten our own copy of this yet. This is my copy, but we're getting a copy of it, and it's probably the book that I'd hope every single parent of a child under the age of eight would read to their children because it's a really wonderful uh, book that is written extremely well and it's called A Very Touching Book and it's written by a gal by the name of Jan Hindman. She's a wonderful therapist and it talks about good touch, bad touch, secret touch. And it's in such a, a friendly manner that uh, 
it, it, it addresses, and I'm trying to find a non-pornographic page for you, <laughs> it addresses such an, uh, an uncomfortable topic in such a very friendly way. And rarely is that topic ever very well communicated. And I would hope that people would come check out the books, um, even if you don't have the issue. It's probably best if you don't have an issue when you check out the books, because then if the issue arises, you already know what to say or how to begin the conversation. It's nice to know these resources are here, and it's nice to know that they're here before the issue might come up or the need might exist. Thanks, Kim. And now a word from our president. Word. Thanks, Dr. Stubrooks. Dr. Stubrooks would like to remind you to be prepared for finals. Study, eat a big breakfast, relax, and if you need to, talk with your instructors. Follow these simple guidelines and your finals will be a breeze. Is it Christmas time yet? Almost. And now it's time for something we like to call, What If? <laughs> What if The Tonight Show with Conan O'Brien stole ideas from To The Point? Just curious. We hope you enjoyed this episode of To The Point. Be sure to keep up with MCC Blue River on Facebook and have a safe and enjoyable holiday break. Remember, classes resume on January 11th. For everyone here at... Coming to Book 5 Act December 9th through the 16th. Going to see Yellowstone Trip. Hey, Mom. Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad.